Hey guys, it's the Med Studio and today we'll be looking at endometriosis. So this is a very common condition that can be very, very debilitating for patients. So it's really important to understand the causes, the treatment and how you'd manage the patient. So what is it? Endometriosis is a condition where there is endometrial tissue outside the uterus or otherwise known as ectopic endometrial tissue. When this does occur, the collection of tissue is known as endometrioma. Although endometriosis can occur anywhere in the body, most commonly it's present in the ovaries. When this does occur, it can show up as a chocolate cyst appearance. The exact cause of this pathology is unknown. However, there are various theories. This includes, firstly, retrograde menstruation. This is when endometrial tissue flows back through the uterine tubes and into the pelvis during menstruation. Secondly, embryonic displacement is the second theory and this explains that endometrial tissue may have developed in other areas outside of the uterus during development. These are just a few of the theories and there are several more. What's important to know is that we don't exactly know what the cause is for endometriosis. So how do we know that a patient has endometriosis and why do they present this way? The main presentation is pelvic pain or extreme pain during menstruation known as dysmenorrhea. This is because although endometrial tissue is present outside of the uterus, these cells can still respond exactly like the endometrial cells. They have receptors which allow them to respond to the changes in hormones during menstruation. So the endometrial tissue responds to the change in hormones and can shed, just like the uterus lining during menstruation. This can cause increased inflammation as the bleeding occurs within the pelvic space, and hence contributing to the pain. For this reason, patients may describe having cyclical heavy burning pain during their periods. If the endometrial tissue is deposited in areas of bowel or bladder, they may also see bleeding in their urine or feces. In some cases, the long-term inflammation can cause adhesions and scar tissue, which can present as chronic non-cyclical pain as well. On examination, these patients may not have any distinct signs or symptoms. The main finding includes tenderness in the vagina, adenexia and the cervix. So let's move on to the diagnosis. Pelvic ultrasound is usually the most common choice of investigation for most gynecological conditions, but it can be difficult to see any abnormal changes in patients with endometriosis. However, very large endometriomas could be picked up on ultrasound among some patients. Therefore, a definitive choice of investigation is laparoscopic surgery, and this is the gold standard. By doing this procedure, we are able to directly see the lesions. The added benefit is that the procedure can also remove the lesions. Initial management includes correctly diagnosing the patient and providing a good explanation of the pathology. Analgesia is given to tackle the pain and hormone management is used to reduce ovulation and reduce endometrial thickening. Options for this include the combined oral contraceptive pill, the progesterone only pill, the Mirena coil, etc. Surgical management consists of laparoscopic surgery, as mentioned before. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you guys found it really useful. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment below. And follow me on Instagram at the Medstudier.